Hey, what's up, everybody? So, it's finally time for another boxing prediction video. Yeah, so, first fight is on Friday, 27th, and it's a heavyweight fight. Tony Yoka versus Christian Hammer. Yes, it's a, yeah, pretty good test for Tony Yoka who is so far been very impressive uh, so this guy is a uh, very tall six foot seven uh, uh, heavyweight with an 82 inch reach so yeah he is a heavyweight of today <laughs> we can say put it that way while Christian Hammer, he is a much shorter guy. He's only six foot two uh, and a half inch, with a seventy-eight inch reach. But he's got the experience on his side. Um, he has fought guys like Alexander Povetkin, Luis Ortiz, um, and uh, David Price. Yeah, Tyson Fury. So he only got stopped by Tyson Fury, I believe, and then that was by a corner retirement. Oh, and Mario Svach also, but that was in 2010. So he's a tough customer, you know. <laughs> he's still 33, so he's not really, shouldn't be past his prime or not too much. So uh, he has a. Uh, beaten a few good fighters David Price he stopped in seven uh, he beat Erkan Tepper very a big 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 upset on a uh, split decision in 2016 and yeah Michael Sprott <clears throat> but this time I believe uh, <laughs> he has been uh, he has met his match so this fight is even in France so it's a kind of is everything is loaded in Tony Yoka's favor and uh, Yoka is a uh, younger man by five years so he's in his last fight he stopped Johan Joan Duhalpa in only one round actually he also stopped Mikhail Valish in three so both have stopped Mikhail Valish but Hammer did it in six rounds he also beat David Allen, yeah, that was his first, I guess, f uh, let's say famous victory. Uh, Alexander Dietrenko, yeah, so this guy, but he's got only eight, eight fights so far, Tony Yoka, with seven knockouts. But he, he does look to be someone that can potentially become a true challenger for any of those title holders and the best heavyweights like Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, yeah, and eventually <laughs> maybe, maybe uh, Deontay Wilder, or, yeah, so uh, <laughs> this fight is for, uh, is for how many rounds, let's see, 10 rounds, yeah, so I don't know, I think Yoka will win either way, but if he will stop Hammer, I think so, maybe yes. I mean, it's not like Hammer has been stopped before, and Yoka seems to have true power, you know, serious power, so he's so much bigger, so much bigger, and he's got the age advantage and everything, you know, so I believe he will manage to stop Hammer within 10 rounds. <laughs> But which round? That's that's difficult to predict. But I think Hammer should last at least, you know, five rounds. I guess maybe, maybe not. But <laughs> you never know. So anyway, Tony Yoka to win by this by a knockout, more most likely. But maybe it will go to the distance. So anyway. And another, even better fight actually at at uh, super middleweight. Uh, yeah, Danny Jacobs versus Gabriel 
Rosado. <coughs> so Danny Jacobs, you know, he uh, is now uh, he's trying to reinvent himself at 168 after he was to Canelo Alvarez. Um, after he was the champion for uh, you know for some time um yeah he still got what it takes i guess even though he's 33 but he's i think he's still you know one of the best out there in the middle divisions definitely um he gave canelo a very hard fight too uh, and triple g you know, at least so mr rosado <laughs> he is a very of course hardy competitor contender but uh, he's hardly uh good enough to beat uh danny jacobs of course but i think he can go the distance of course um yeah I think so, but because he's very tough and uh, yeah, he's never really been knocked out, I believe. Or he has actually been stopped, but that was a long time ago by Alfredo Angulo. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know really, but uh, you know, Rosado is, uh, I mean, neither guy is a big super middleweight, so they're both around six feet tall. Um, which is today kind of standard height or almost <laughs> starting to become you know below average but still it's kind of average fight because we now have gotten guys like Callum Smith and that guy um, what's his name um, uh, <laughs> I just can't remember his name, but he was also a champion, the Mexican guy. Oh yeah, Benavides also. You know, so you got those guys who are six two, six three. So now suddenly it's light, light heavyweight instead. But then we, uh, <laughs> Danny Jacobs will, I think, win most likely on points. Uh, yeah. So this is a twelve round fight, actually. Well, who knows? He might even manage to pull off some kind of stoppage. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, so Rosado has been only stopped four times, but uh, yeah, he was like stopped in 10 rounds by David Lemieux and Quillen, Peter Quillen, but uh, it's like, you know, it was a doctor stoppage more or less and against Golovkin he was simply uh, overpowered so <coughs> I don't know really if Jacobs can pull it off but it would be impressive but he hasn't had a fight you know now for almost a year so I don't know the chances are not the best you know so I I'd rather go for a uh, a points victory for Danny Jacobs, yeah. All right, and then there is one more fight that I want to uh, predict. That's uh, Daniel Dubois versus Joe Joyce. It's a big, you know, <laughs> British heavyweight uh, matchup showdown between two guys. They are they are both undefeated. Uh, both huge guys, you know, that can that have power you know especially Dubois he has serious power I'd say that Joyce is maybe not a devastating kind of you know one punch guy but uh, Dubois definitely is you know because Joyce I've seen him fight guys like uh, uh, Bermain Styvern yeah so it, it took him you know he did floor him in round three, but then it took him three more rounds to put Stivern away. And I I can guarantee you Dubois would not have taken so long. So, you know, it's more like he's a very big, strong guy who just simply uh, overpowers his opponents. 
uh, through Joyce. But uh, the wise, both the younger guy, much younger actually, by 12 years, and uh, he has just simply looked more impressive. I mean, uh, even though he hasn't, of course, he hasn't fought that many uh, higher level fighters, but he has fought some at least. Nathan uh, Razvan Soyan, Kevin Johnson, Nathan Gorman. I mean, none of them were really, really, really top class, but uh, Joyce hasn't either fought some some real, you know, top contenders. So this will be like a stepping stone for any of them. Uh, whoever wins, of course, will be propelled into a a big fight hopefully soon <coughs> so anyway I think the war will win this fight yeah most likely um, <laughs> it will be a good good one I believe uh, an action fight because both guys like to come forward they are aggressive you know, and but only Duva has the power to end the fight, you know, quickly and suddenly, more or less. So um, this will go in his favor, I think. Um, yeah. So uh, he will win. Uh, <laughs> I don't know really. This this may even go the distance, but I I think it's very likely that it won't because of what I just said, both guys are aggressive. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think Duva simply will uh, prove to be too much for Joyce. Uh, and, uh, yeah, he's kind of too big, too heavy guy. I mean, he also he has started too late, he's 35 already. So, what can he hope to achieve? I mean, he cannot hope to have such a long career. So, yeah, I think uh, Duva will get him somewhere in, after sixth round, you know, seventh or eighth, or no, something like that. Yeah, so that was it for now. Thanks for watching and see you until next time. Bye.